Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the ILMP Winter Wonderland collection for holiday 2022. There are six polishes here all together. These are available right now, so I will link the ILMP website down below and I'll get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Snow Angel and this is described as a sheer milky white shimmer jelly. And they do expand on that to say that this has a glistening white sparkle, an iridescent ivory shimmer, holographic splendor, and silver metallic flakes. So this could easily be a topper, but I wanted to show it alone since that's kind of the ethereal winter wonderland vibe that the whole collection has. It's obviously very sheer on the first coat. It does have a nice shimmer throughout the whole base in addition to those tiny silver flakes so that it will not build up completely, but I was surprised at how well the shimmer did build on the second coat. So I did go ahead and add a third coat just because I wanted to see what it looked like and there was still definitely some visible nail line, but it wasn't the worst is again that sheer kind of ethereal look that I think they were going for but alternatively you could use this as a topper. So that is three coats of Snow Angel. The next polish is called Elsa and this is described as an icy light blue holographic shimmer. Then they expand on that and mention iridescent blue sparkle, holographic micro flakes, a gentle blue base, and then blue, silver, and purple iridescent flakes. This is magical. It is also very sheer. So I think this could easily double as a topper just like the last one. But again, I am wearing it on its own here just to see how it builds. After three coats, this actually built pretty well. There was still the slightest bit of visible nail line from some angles, but it was much, much less than I expected after seeing how sheer this was on the first coat. There is a lot of sparkle and shimmer in here, so you do get a good amount of coverage from those elements. So that is three coats of Elsa. So the next polish is called Evermore, and the simple description is Rosy Mauve Ultra Hollow. But ILNP does expand on that a little bit and mention a subtle sprinkle of reflective silver flakes. This is the second polish that I have seen the word reflective in the description, and I don't think they're actually talking about reflective glitter. I think our definition of reflective might have changed a little bit in the last year, but I don't think that that's what they're referring to because these didn't have that grit or that texture of reflective glitter. Super strong holographic here, great formula. It covered completely in two coats and those little silver flakies actually stood out against that holographic much better than I was expecting. So that is two coats of Evermore. The next polish is called Smitten and this is described as a lavender ultra metallic. And then they go on to mention a twinkling magenta sparkle, holographic flakes, and reflective silver flakes. And again, I think we're talking about reflective as in just bright and sparkly, not like it glows under flash. The flakies in here are a bit larger than the silver flakies that we've seen in the other polishes. So you actually get a decent amount of coverage from those because they are so big. Two coats covered pretty well here for me. I could still see my nail line from some angles, but I didn't think it was enough to worry about a third coat. But that being said, you may want three coats of this one. And those silver flakes are larger, but they're not glitter. They're not textured at all, so you won't have any problems there. So that is two coats of Smitten. The next polish is called Sugar Plum, and this is described as a deep mauve magnetic nail polish. And this does also mention silver metallic flakes. So this has a great formula and a very, very strong magnetic effect. Once all of those magnetic particles are sucked to the magnet though, the rest of the polish does go pretty sheer. You have those little silver flakies, which are nice. They add a little something there. So it's not just like a blank mauve jelly. I stopped at two coats, but I did have the slightest little bit of visible nail line where it was a little bit sheer at the tip from the magnet. So that is two coats of Sugar Plum. And the last polish is called Zero Degrees, and this is described as a midnight blue magnetic nail polish. And this also mentions metallic silver flakies. So this one is also a little bit sheer, but not nearly as bad as the last polish because there's a lot more of that silver flaky to give some coverage to the more sheer parts after those magnetic particles are kind of sucked to the middle. So you get a lot of extra coverage out of those non-magnetic particles, but in turn, it does make the magnetic effect look a little less intense because there's sparkle all over the polish instead of it all being concentrated into one area. But this did easily cover completely for me in two coats. So that is two coats of zero degrees. So I have two favorites here. I really like Smitten. I like the larger silver flakies that are in there. I think those larger, chunkier silver flakies look really cool when they come together in like a full coverage polish, not just a topper. So really like that one. And I also really like Elsa. So it's a little bit more sheer than I would like, but it was very like just magical looking on my nails. I like the baby blue base. I think that all the elements come together really, really nicely. And it actually looks better, like considerably better on my nails than it does in the bottle, which I appreciate. It was a nice pleasant surprise, but this was very sparkly. And like I said, very like ethereal and magical, which I guess it's a winter wonderland themed collection. So that makes sense. But this was a very surprise favorite for me. 
So that is the ILMP Winter Wonderland collection. Again, I will link that website down below where you guys can check those out. Hope you enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.